Hey, what's up? It's Nathan here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Blue Wallet, which is a mobile wallet for both iPhone and Android. And it's a pretty powerful wallet for Bitcoin as well as the Lightning Network. So you can do both of those things on this wallet. And I'm going to go through it and show you how to use it and show you some of the features along the way. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So this is essentially what it looks like when you access your Blue Wallet. Now, you might not have a wallet here at first. I already have a wallet, but we'll go ahead and create a new one. So to create a new one you go ahead and click on that plus button in the top right hand corner there and now it gives us a couple options right here so we can do a bitcoin wallet we can do a lightning wallet and then we have the option for vault in this video i'm going to go over the bitcoin wallet and the lightning wallet vault is a multi-sig wallet and i recommend doing setting up a multi-sig setup uh, another way so i'll have a link in the description down below on how to set up multi-sig using sparrow wallet so if you want multi-sig uh go watch that video um i don't recommend really doing it with blue wallet but anyway we're going to cover bitcoin wallet first so we can go ahead and name the wallet so if you want to change the name and i'm just going to call it demo wallet and then i'll go ahead and select bitcoin there and then I go ahead and click on create. Or I also want to point out that you could import a wallet. So if you already have a seed phrase, you could go ahead and type in that seed phrase. Here, I'll click on there real quick. So you can go ahead and type in your seed phrase right there or public key. And then you could use blue wallet to access that, that address. So there is that option if you want to restore a wallet to blue wallet. So back out of here. But I'm going to go ahead and select create. So we'll go with create. And then it gives me my 12 words that I could go ahead and write down. Uh, so obviously I recommend writing it down on a piece of paper, use a pencil, pen, and go hide that seed phrase somewhere uh, far away. And then when you've done that, go ahead and write or click on, okay, I wrote it down. And boom, just like that, we have our wallet created. So there it is. To access it, we just tap into it. And we are inside of our wallet. So now we got a couple options here. We could go ahead and buy Bitcoin. Now, personally, I don't recommend buying Bitcoin through Blue Wallet. Their prices seem outrageous, like 40820 And right now the price of Bitcoin is 38900 So there's a pretty big markup right there. And also you got some fees and everything. So you, you probably don't use Blue Wallet for buying your Bitcoin, but I guess there is that option. More than likely, you want to go ahead and receive Bitcoin to Blue Wallet or send it if you have Bitcoin in your wallet. So first things, we got to get some in here. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on receive. And it says, did we save our wallet backup key? And yes, of course I have. So we'll select that option. And then it gives us a QR code that we could go ahead and scan to send Bitcoin to our Blue Wallet address. Or we could go ahead and copy it right here. Uh, additionally, we could go ahead and select an amount we want to receive. So if you have a set amount you want to receive, you could go ahead and do that there. Or you could just go ahead and basically tap on the address, copy it, and then you could go ahead and send to that address. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out to my node and I'm going to go ahead and withdraw from my node. And I'm going to go ahead and just withdraw 25,000 sats, which is about 10 bucks. I'll go ahead and paste my address in here. And of course, you could send, you know, Bitcoin from an exchange or something like that. So if you have an exchange that you're sending from, then you go ahead and use that. And then I'm going to go ahead and just select my fee real quick. And fees are pretty low right now. I just went to mempool that space and it's about one sat per V-byte. So I'll lower it to one sat per V-byte. Go ahead and re review, confirm withdrawal. And then I can go ahead and check out this transaction on mempool.space. And I'll go ahead and go to my blue wallet real quick. And I'll go ahead and refresh it. So there. And, and we can see it's already pending in my blue wallet. So it popped up you no know, on the blockchain. I'm in the second block here. And then after, I believe it takes three confirmations before I can go ahead and do something with it. So I'm going to have to wait for it to confirm three times. But at least I can see it's on its way to my wallet. So that's always a good sign, especially if you're sending large amounts. But I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I'm at one confirmation now. And it looks like it'll let me do what I want to show you. So anyway, right up here, we see the total Bitcoin, Bitcoin balance I have in my wallet. If I tap on that, it'll show how many sats I have. If I tap on it again, it'll give me my dollar value so if you want to you know see it in a different way you could go ahead and do that by tapping up above and so now we'll talk about sending the bitcoin so we can tap on send down here at the bottom so send and then we can enter the amount of bitcoin we want to go ahead and send so just tap on that and then you can do if you tap like on total here 
it'll send the max. Or if you want to send like, I don't know, 10,000 sats, we can go ahead and type in 0 0.0001, I think. Yep, so $3.91. And then we go ahead and enter the address we want to send this Bitcoin to. So we'll do that in just a second. We could go ahead and include a note to self so that way we know, you know what we paid for or why we sent this Bitcoin out of our blue wallet. And this note just sits in blue wallet. So that's where you'll see that note. Uh, we could go ahead and tap on the fee right here. So if we want to adjust the fee, uh, we could go ahead and do fast, medium, slow, or custom. So you could go to mempool.space and see what the fees are and select one. Additionally, Blue Wallet is smart enough and it automatically or dynamically adjusts based off of the mempool anyway. So its fees are pretty accurate in my experience. But anyway, you can go ahead and adjust the fee there if you want to. And before we go ahead and send it, I want to show you something kind of cool. Uh, there's these three dots right here. If you tap into those, we have a few more options we could go ahead and adjust. So we could go ahead and use full balance, uh, allow fee bump. So if you you know put a low fee in like one sat per V-byte and you know it's taking way too long, you could go ahead and bump up the fee to move that transaction along. So this could be very handy. I like that feature a lot. Uh, we could sign a transaction. So if you're doing multi-sig, you could sign that transaction. Or if you wanna broadcast your transaction via another wallet, you could go ahead and use that option. Uh, we have ad recipient, which is a really cool feature. So if you want to send your Bitcoin to multiple addresses at the same time and basically save on fees because, you know, you're doing one transaction, but sending it to multiple places, you go ahead and do ad recipient just like that. And now you see that we have, you know, two of two. So we could send, you know, 10,000 sats to wallet one, 10,000 sats to wallet two, and basically save on the fees along the way. Uh, to do that, you just scroll left or right by holding on the address and dragging left or right and you can easily switch between the two uh, recipients or you could add more recipients so i'm just gonna go ahead and remove the recipient because i'm just sending it to one wallet but that is a really cool feature back into the three dots we could also do coin control so if you have multiple utxos and you want to select which utxo you want to send from you could go ahead and do that here uh, but that's a bit advanced and i'm not going to cover it in this video instead we're just going to go ahead and put an address in here so let me grab the address to my node and actually, I'm going to go ahead and use the scan feature right here. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on scan. And then I'll scan my QR code. And there we go. Uh, note to self, I'm just going to do re return uh, funds. If I could type return if dubs, whatever. Okay, we'll go ahead and hit next now. And I can go ahead and con confirm my transaction or I can tap into details real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and tap into details real quick. So here is my transactions hex if I want that so I could broadcast it later on. And here's the information as well. So just some details. I'm going to go ahead and back out of here. And I'm just going to do send now. So send now. And now it's broadcasted on the Bitcoin blockchain. And if I refresh my page, I can tap into here and see my transaction. And here's where I could also bump the fee. So if it's taking too long to do the transaction, I could bump up the fee, or I could go ahead and try and cancel the transaction if I want to. But anyway, that's how you go ahead and receive and send Bitcoin to your Bitcoin wallet on Blue Wallet. Now we're gonna go back and set up a Lightning Wallet. So back to the main area, and we'll go ahead and tap on the plus button there. And this time we're gonna go ahead and do Lightning, and I'm just gonna leave the default name, my first wallet, tap on Lightning. And then it gives us the option to connect to our own LND hub. So if you have your own Bitcoin node and Lightning node, you can go ahead and update the information in this field right here. So that's if you want self custody of your Lightning wallet. Alternatively, we could just go ahead and hit create and then Blue Wallet will be the custodian for our Lightning Network wallet. So anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and do create and just like that, my Lightning Wallet has been created. And now I have this QR code right here or this link down here. And this is how I could go ahead and restore my Lightning Wallet if you know my phone breaks or something like that. So it's important to save that information. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and do, okay, I saved it. And now you see that I have a Lightning Wallet here. It's orange instead of blue. So I could go ahead and tap into it. And here I am inside of my Lightning Wallet. Now, what I wanna do is get some funds inside of my wallet here. And there's a couple ways to do that. Of course, I could go ahead and receive funds. So if I'm sending from one Lightning Wallet to this Lightning Wallet, I could go ahead and do that. Or if somebody else is sending from their Lightning Wallet to my Lightning Wallet, I could go ahead and do receive. And we'll do that in just a second. But I wanna show you manage funds real quick. And this is how you could go ahead and add funds to your Lightning Wallet that are in a Bitcoin wallet. So we'll go ahead and do manage funds. 
And we have refill, refill with external wallet, refill with bank card. And we have exchange, which is how you can go ahead and take your Bitcoin that is on the Lightning Network and put it back on the main chain. So it's basically the opposite of what we're about to do. And what we're about to do is just use refill. So go ahead and tap into refill. So now I'm gonna go ahead and select which wallet I want to fund my Lightning wallet with. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the demo wallet right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fund it with everything I got. So I'm gonna do use full balance and it automatically populates where it's going to. So it's right there, refill lightning wallet. I have my fee right there. I could go ahead and tap in there. Okay, that's fine. I want it fast. Let's do next. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do send now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do done. And now I have to wait for a couple confirmations for the funds to appear in my lightning wallet. Now I have to wait a few confirmations for the funds to appear in my lightning wallet, but I could come back out. I can go to my demo wallet here. And I see that I have a pending transaction, right? So I can tap into that. And I could go ahead and tap on details right at the top right hand corner. And then we have this option for view and block explorer. So I'll go ahead and do that. And we see that my transaction is right there in the very first block. So it should be you know, processing very soon. In which case the funds will then be available in my lightning wallet on blue wallet. So I'll be back once that all happens. Alrighty, so it took three confirmations for my funds to be available in my Lightning Wallet, but here they are, and now I can go ahead and spend the funds or send them places, and that's what I wanna go ahead and do. So first things first, I need a place to actually send the funds, and what I wanna do is I wanna gamble with these funds, because gambling is fun and exciting and all that type of stuff. So here I am at Lightning Roulette, and we're gonna go ahead and gamble. So I'm gonna go ahead and first deposit the funds, so we'll pop that up right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and deposit 10,000 sets right there. So deposit, and then it's gonna present a QR code. So I'm gonna use my phone and scan it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on send here, send. And then I go ahead and scan. So I'll tap on scan, and then I'll scan that QR code. And there we go, we got the 10,000 sats, $3.93, and then I'll go ahead and do pay, so pay. And there we go, it was lightning fast. I've sent my 10,000 sats to Lightning Roulette, and we see Lightning Roulette updated. And we can see my balance right here, so I'm gonna put, you know, 10,000 on black, because I'm going all in, baby. And we're gonna go ahead and spin it, and cross our fingers, and hopefully it lands on black. Black doubled my money just like that, awesome. And now what I wanna go ahead and do is withdraw my winnings. So I'm gonna come back into my blue wallet here and we can close back out of this. And this time I'm gonna go ahead and select receive. So I'm gonna be receiving funds and I'll go ahead and tap on sats right here to say how many sats I want to go ahead and receive. And I want all 20,000 sats back. Oh, that's 200,000. 20,000 sats right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do create invoice, create invoice. And here's my invoice. So if I was using another lightning wallet that could scan a QR code, I could go ahead and, you know, just scan that QR code and, you know, pay the invoice that way. Or I could go ahead and copy the address here and use it. And I'm gonna to need to do that in this example because I'm not able to scan the QR code from lightning roulette. So I'll go ahead and copy this and put it on my computer. And I'll come back over here, open this, withdraw. I paste in my invoice right there, hit withdraw. And I'm getting an error because I don't have enough to cover the withdrawal fee. So I'm gonna go ahead and update my invoice real quick. So we'll close out of here, do receive. And instead of 20,000 sats, I'll leave a little extra wiggle room. So 19,995 and I'll go ahead and create that invoice and put it back on my computer. And I'll paste that in there and withdraw. And let me open up my phone real quick. And there we go. So I see right there that my invoice has been paid. So I can close that out. And just like that, I'm an extra 9,995 sats richer. Now, of course, I just got lucky and you have a good chance of losing money if you're gambling. So it's probably not advised to go gambling your sats. But anyway, Hopefully now you see how you can go ahead and receive and send sats to your Lightning Network wallet. Now, one last thing I wanna go ahead and cover here is under Manage Funds, and let me make this a full screen real quick. So we have Manage Funds, and then there's an option to Exchange. And Exchange would be to put your, your Lightning Wallet funds back into your Bitcoin main chain wallet. So if you'd go to Exchange here, 
It brings you to ZigZag, uh, which lets you go ahead and convert Lightning Bitcoin. See, there's like a little Lightning thing here for Bitcoin into main chain Bitcoin. And you can go ahead and exchange it. And I'll be honest with you, I don't really recommend doing it this way because it is kind of expensive to do and it is kind of complicated to do. So I'm going to show you another way using Moon Wallet, which is another Bitcoin slash Lightning wallet. And I have another video on it, link in the description down below. But I think it's a much better option than using ZigZag here. So that's why I want to show it to you. Here we are in Blue Wallet and I want to take note of how many sats I have here. So 22,925. So I know how much I have. Then I'm going to go ahead and open up Moon Wallet. And here I want to go ahead and receive. So receive. And then I want to go ahead and select Lightning. So Lightning. And then I want to come down here to Invoice Settings. So Invoice Settings. And I want to go ahead and do Amount. Amount. So I have 0.00022 and then I have 925 additionally. However, there are going to be some fees. So I got to leave some dust behind basically. So you are going to lose out on some sets when you do this, but it's still going to be cheaper than doing that zigzag method. So I probably want to leave, you know, we do maybe 625. So I'll basically leave 300 sets uh, back in blue wallet, but I'll go ahead and confirm the amount. And it's going to go ahead and generate the invoice. Then we go ahead and do copy. So copy. And now go back to Blue Wallet. And it notices that I have a Lightning invoice on my clipboard. So I'm just going to go ahead and do continue here. And then I can confirm my amounts and all that type of stuff. And I may need to change my wallet if I'm in the wrong wallet. So you want to double check that right there. And I'm just going to go ahead and do pay. And then I'll go back to Moon Wallet. And we can see that I just received some funds right there. So I have 0.00022625 Bitcoin in my wallet. And now I want to go ahead and send it from Moon. So I'll do send. And we can see I have the option to send to either a Bitcoin or Lightning QR codes. And so in this particular case, since I'm sending it back to the Bitcoin main chain, I'll go ahead and scan a Bitcoin wallet QR code, or I could go ahead and enter a text address if I want to do that. So there are those two options. So let me go ahead and load up a QR code. And then I'm going to go ahead and select use all funds, use all funds, and then just return. And then I'll go ahead and confirm note. And then I have the network fee here. And I, of course, could go ahead and adjust it depending on how much I want to go ahead and pay. So I'll do less than 10 hours here. And I'll go ahead and confirm the fee. And then I'm going to go ahead and tap on send. And there we go. So now my Bitcoin is leaving the Lightning Network and coming back onto the main chain. And I can see it right here. So I've made some money thanks to my lucky gambling. So that's pretty cool stuff. And that pretty much summarizes this video. So hopefully you found it helpful. Any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes are greatly appreciated. Have a great rest of the day.